What do you, what's some of your guys' motivations heading into this weekend? Yeah, we touched on it uh, yesterday, actually, but um, there's a lot at stake for us. Uh, we we want to get as high seed as possible in the tournament um, to set us up. And um, Omaha, uh, I think if Omaha makes a tournament there in uh, uh, Sioux Falls or whatever, so uh, we, I mean, we would like to play there. And so they have a lot on the line for us, and that's kind of motivating us. How would you describe Cameron's game? Berg? Yeah. I mean, he's he's a good 200-foot player, shoots the puck hard, and I mean, he's just a really good guy. Uh, we're glad to have him. Um, what has uh, Keaton added to the group this season? Yeah, I mean, he's just a good, uh, really good skater, good mobile defense when he defends really well and moves pucks up. And I think that's the big thing with D is, is playing fast and, and being a good skater. What's been the biggest difference for you? You're coming to the end of your sophomore year in the regular season, kind of from last year to this year in your eyes. I think just playing harder away from the puck and taking harder strides. I'd say that's, that's probably the biggest thing. And uh, you kind of had a few different line mates roll through with you and, and, and Blake there, but Jackson Kuntz is kind of stuck. What's it been like playing, kind of having him on your on your left wing here this, these last yeah, few weeks? Yeah, he, he's been awesome. Um, he forechecks really hard. He's, he's a beast in front of the net. He's really easy to play with, so yeah. Definitely happy with that. Does his bigger body kind of – does that allow you guys to have more space? Kind of what – him being such a big body, what does that help for you Yeah, guys? I mean, I think it – I think we get uh, good spacing from it. He's really good in front of the net, and, I mean, he can still make plays, so it's a good combination. And, uh, obviously, Omaha is a, a very good face-off team. You being a center, um, kind of what are you guys going to have to do to, to kind of control the dot? And maybe it's not win or lose, but don't lose them clean. Kind of what are you guys going to do there? Yeah, I think we're just going to stick with what we've been doing and, you know, pre scouting and get on the same page with wingers and, you know, just digging in. Um, you and Blake specifically have played all but two games together on the same line this year. Uh, he's assisted on nine of your 12 goals. What is it about your guys' connection that's just so automatic? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously he's a really good player. I think he just, you know, he finds his line mates and he makes a lot of good plays, so. Uh, yeah, I think we've just been, been working well. And I know you guys are pretty much best friends off the ice, too. How much does that kind of help with the connection? Yeah, I mean, we can just talk about it whenever, like, no hard feelings or anything. Like, we'll just, you know, talk about it legit whenever. So, yeah. I just want one question. Where'd that speed come from on the third goal? I wouldn't call it. I think everyone was tired. Like Dylan James. Yeah, no, I think everyone on the ice was tired at that point. I was, I was pretty gassed, so.